hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here and you like it please hit the um subscribe button like button and comment down below you know what i'm saying um and if you're og thank you for being an og so welcome back red fam so as i know i'm going on a trip to st thomas and i wanted i just didn't want to do box braids in my hair so i said let me try a passion twist so this is my attempt of passion twist um rubber band method so from the videos i watched they always they always started with the um I'm about to say vacuum cleaned um they always started on washed condition blow dried hair so i washed my hair with my um suave um the green bottle of suave i don't remember the name of it and then i conditioned and blow dried with that um i, I washed and conditioned with that and then i used this garnier fructis um one minute hair uh, hair mask for some extra moisture hydrating treat it smells so good um, this fructis Sleek and shine, intensely smooth leave-in conditioner. Alrighty. That's what I'm going to use to add some extra moisture to my hair. I also have some oils. Alright, so what I'm going to be using here, I ordered this hair off of Amazon. This is the Toyo Tress um, hair. Let me just, it comes in a pack like this six packs of the hair the passion twist hair i just went on amazon i looked up passion twist hair had a lot of good reviews so this is the hair that i got here toyo tries passion twist hair and it came with six packs of hair like this and this is 18 inches it came with A crochet needle and it came with some rubber bands it came with some rubber bands and some clip I mean like um what you call it like hair jewelry but I'm not going to use those rubber bands because they were like the plastic ones that are really thin and break so I bought some rubber bands from the beauty supply store and I'm soaking them in oil I see other people soaking their rubber bands with oil so you don't have much breakage so I said, that's a good idea. So I just put some of my grow oil in here and mushed it around to make sure that all of the rubber bands was soaked in oil. So I have six packs of hair. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to part my hair. Then I'm going to part my hair in six sections. All right, so then I'm going to those two together and then I'm going to start working on the back here. So I hope that no, I don't. I don't think that's gonna work. I think I'm just gonna do it in half. <laughs> A nice part straight across like that. I think this can go in two. I'm gonna take some Eco Styler already with oil on it. I'm gonna take some Eco Styler. I'm trying to make a neat little box. That probably is like the worst. But I can't see. It's the back of the head anyway. Box. 
So I'm gonna finish this up. I officially started this at 8.25. So um, I will be back once I'm done with all the boxes. And then I will um, come back and start on the actual twist. And then you guys will see the finished product. I'll tell you how long it took me to do each part. And we'll see. So I will be back. I'm about to finish up these things. So I can give you a good time on how long it took me. So I will be back when all the boxes okay, are Okay, so I finished my boxes. So this is what they're looking like. All right. They're kind of like iffy in the back, but it'll work. So now I'm just gonna take some oil and hit my, you know, roots with it before I start the next part. And just like massage it in. Massage it in. Okay, so I forgot to tell you how long it took. Um, it's 10 o'clock. I started at 8. I want to say 8.20 something. Plus, I, and I stopped. I would have been stopped. I would have been done a lot earlier, but I took like maybe two, five to ten minute breaks to eat. So, it didn't take long at all. And it's just now 10 o'clock. So now, it's time to try this crochet, try to crochet this hair in. So I'm just gonna take that Fruities Sleek and Shine that I've got and put that on my hair so that my hair is nice and moisturized all the way through. much on each side of the hair. Just massage that through. And then I'm gonna take some more oil and lock that in. like that moisture in. Okay, so I'm gonna do two in the front and then I'm gonna finish my hair and come back. So, like I said, it's 10 o'clock now. So, let's do these two in the front. So, I've been seeing people take one strand. So this is the hair, all right. So, oh, we're seeing people take one strand and separate it. So, I mean, they basically will separate like that because it'll get tangled. So, let's see. Okay, so, here goes one strand. And we're just going to fluff it out. Alright. Here goes the other strand. And we're just going to fluff it out. And then I'm seeing them take them and stagger them like this. So you have two short pieces and two long pieces. I see people do one strand. And I've seen people do two, so I'm gonna see what one strand looks like. But my boxes are kind of big, so I might have to do two. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do two strands. So we're just gonna separate. And then we're gonna stagger the two strands. 
All right. So I've seen people. We're gonna stagger so that these two are long and these two are short. And I've seen people like interlock them like that so they don't come loose. So then, take the crochet needle and then try to open it up. I'm going to put the hook through, loose on the hair, pull the hair through, take the crochet over. So now I got two pieces of hair. I'm going to tighten the rubber band. There we go. I'm going to add some more loose. And we are going to twist. It's not tight. Can't see the rubber band. And the end, I'm just gonna add some more gel. There we go. That looks pretty. Yeah, that's long too. That goes like past my boob. That's okay. And it feels good. All right, let's do another one. Now we're coming in loose. What? This is gonna be so cute. That's gonna be so cute. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go finish and get these done and then I will return. Okay, so I'm done and I got done a little after 3.30. So, 8.30, not 10.30, 10.30, 11.00, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 
want to do 2 30, 2 30, 3 30, 3 30. So, 8 hours, 6 hours, 7 hours, 8 hours, I don't know. It was over 5 hours. So, what I'm doing now, I saw the other girls do this to get like a more fuller, boho, gypsy type look. They just took some hair and a strand of hair. Oh, I only used, I only used, um, four packs of hair. I bust open that fifth pack of hair, but I only use like four, like two strands out of it. So that's what I'm using the open pack for. So I'm just taking some hair, little piece of hair, putting some, some mousse. And I'm just putting some mousse on it to get it nice and looking all right and then take my crochet ne crochet needle and I'm just going to I'm not placing it in no particular places I'm just placing it um, you know randomly And I feel like placing it instead of pulling it all the way through, I just loop it. See, this is to give it like a little, a little more fuller look, but I cut the ends. Oh. Was it's touching ends because they were like all scraggly, but the ends curled up really nice. Yeah, let me go. It's four o'clock in the morning. I need to go to sleep, but I gotta get up and do Kyla's hair and box braids. So yeah. Oh, and at the end, I'm just gonna finish with some um, some mousse and put it in a bonnet and call it a day. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked my hair. See you in the next one.